right, counter punch boxing. Everything wrong with the Canelo Charlo fight. First of all, let's start with the divisions. What division does Canelo fight in? Is it middleweight, super middleweight, welterweight, light heavyweight, uh, <laughs> light middleweight? I mean, what about the 155 pound Canelo catchweight <laughs> that he fought? Who was it? Like Kirkland, I think Amir Khan, a career light welterweight. Only three fights uh, at welterweight before he went to 140 to 147, then jumps up to fight. Canelo gets flattened. Okay, Canelo nearly kills this dude now we're going up to 168 a guy from 154 is going to jump two divisions up to 168 so you have two undisputed champions one at 154 one at 168 and they're going to fight for all these belts all these undisputed titles and belts and to make all this history and blah 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 i mean what division does this guy fight in i mean i don't know if someone asked me i'd say yeah somewhere between 147 and like 200 i don't know okay so that's problem number one okay problem and number two now I don't think anyone put it any better than the great, that's right, I said the great Polly Malinaji, okay? I think one of the best boxing analysts on the planet. That's right, I said it, deal with it, okay? I'll say this too, before we get to a clip of Polly, one of the best interviews I've ever done in my whole boxing reporting career was with Polly. Adjustments? Adjustments? Yeah, I was, I was he made adjustments. Shit, that shit was what? I, I broke my hand. Bro. Yeah. What? Did you, I made the adjustments. <laughs> I broke my hand, and I had to fight the defensive fight. Here's the problem, bro. What's up, man? Here's the problem. The reason they can't understand what the, how, to, how to watch this fight with a guy with a broken hand is because whenever they have an injury in their sport, they go. And the fight's over. In our sport, when we got an injury, we got to fight through it. Otherwise, we get criticized. So when I broke my hand, I went back to the corner. I didn't think about quitting. I said, let me sit down. Let me figure how I'm gonna fight the rest of this fight one hand. They don't even consider the broken hand because when they get an injury, it's <laughs> right away, no balls. Okay, that's how they, that's how their sport is, and it's accepted and it's praised and everything. So, what I should have done in reality, I'm a schmuck because what I should have done when round two ended, my band was broke. I'm getting paid the same money anyway. I should have sat in the corner and been like, "Fuck this, I'm 38. I'm done. My hand broke. I'm done." <laughs> You know what I mean? That's what I should. I should have been like them. What they would have done. Too much heart, man. Too much heart. It's not about too much heart. It said my, my mind is programmed a certain way. I've been boxing for so long. Polly Malinaji, okay. Uh, the guy, he just look, he's engaging. He doesn't give you like generic answers. He's entertaining. He's intelligent. He's been in the ring, okay. He's he's got the full package. I mean, it was it was a shame that Showtime let him go. They're going under now, by the way. You know, what do they say? Uh, go woke, go broke, or get woke, go broke, something like that. So. They're going. They're they're running from boxing as fast as they can. But enough of that. Look, let's hear again what the great Polly Malinaji has to say, and I'll be back. Jamel, um, and I was expecting Jamel Charlo to at least address the non-committalness after the fight. Um, he did to a degree, saying, "Okay, this guy's too weight class is too big, and um, you know uh, this way this is boxing. This happens." Yes, you're right. But he, he never tried to win the fight, and and, and you owe that to the fans. This Okay, so you heard Polly there. He said after the fight, you didn't address what just went horribly wrong, and you owe that to the fans. Why? Because, look, they sell this fight. They promote this fight. They promise if you pay for this fight, you're going to get your money's worth. Two warriors are going to clash for the undisputed championship of the world, and please give me your $100, okay? And then when they don't deliver... What did they do? Nothing. And that's what he said. He didn't say, look, I put on a bad performance tonight. Uh, you know, I could have done better. I'm disappointed. No, he said, ah, I moved up two weight classes. It is what it is. Channels like Showtime are bailing on boxing. You know what I mean? You you sell this whole fight. You sell all these shenanigans. And then afterwards, instead of admitting things like Larry Murphy used to do, we're admitting, hey, man, this was a dud. You, you're still trying to sell the holy dare to be great crap. That, get get out of here with that crap, man. You know what I mean? Like, All right, so you heard Polly say after the fight, Al Bernstino is still trying to blow smoke up, you know, people's ass, right? You know, like, oh, he dared to be great. He moved up two to it's like, da, 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 da. like, just stop, just stop. You know, I expected, like, the American flag to drop in the background and two eagles are going to fly through the arena, like, shooting fireworks out their ass. Okay, it's so ridiculous like we know what we saw the fans know what they saw this was just a full-blown disappointment let's continue 
Listen, Jamel picked up a check and I'm happy for him. But this was not an effort that he put. This was not a hungry fighter. This is not a fighter that cared if he lost tonight. This is a fighter that's going to go back home and satisfy with a nice check. It doesn't bother him that he lost. And honestly, you can tell, like I said, the fact that he's calling out Crawford instead of addressing everything afterwards. Okay, right there. The fact that he's calling out Terrence Crawford instead of addressing what everybody just Saul. Okay. And meanwhile, you got Burns seen in the background as blah, 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 blah. This was so great. Dare to be great. Nonsense. Okay. So that that's just what problem two, problem three. Who knows? I lost count of this fight. Okay. Now, other boxers, typically they say, yeah, okay, cool. I moved up. I lost, but I'm disappointed. You know, I don't feel like, uh, you know, I put on my best performance. It wasn't my night. No, instead, he's like, I want Terrence Crawford. I mean, look, these guys have become so entitled to these BS mix matches that, that they're just, just completely oblivious to the fact that, that, you know, he just put on a crap performance and doesn't care and made tens and tens of millions of dollars while doing it and basically said, hey, where's my next 20 million? Where's my next 10 million? You know, line them up, people. Line and look, here's the problem. The boxing fans, I'm going to, you know, look, I hate to say it, but these suckers out there, they'll keep paying. You're going to keep paying, you know, and that's what I don't understand. I'm all for supporting boxing, but look, this is just getting ridiculous. And it's a part of the reason why I left for as long as I did. A lot of it was just, you know, this belt snatching, this these uh, horrible matchmakers, you know, boxers that can't pick a freaking division. Clean out your division, right? Fight your mandatories, clean out your division, and then move up. Instead, we get this nonsense. It was really the icing on the cake as far as establishing the fact that he couldn't care less about the fact that he didn't try to win the fight, the fight was a dud, and all this other stuff. You can disguise it all you want. Yes, Canelo looked good. It's easy to look good against a guy not trying to win the fight. But And this all comes, like I said, this comes back down to Canelo getting to choose these kind of opponents. Uh-oh, bingo. Did, did you hear that? It comes down to Canelo getting to choose, that's correct, choose, cherry pick these types of opponents, okay? Uh, and look, that, that, that says it all. We could end the video right here if we want to. Okay, another very important thing to remember, it's easy to look good when you're in there against a guy that doesn't want to be there, that he's only there for a paycheck, a payday. That's it. You know, anybody, almost any pro fighter can look good against somebody like that. He certainly didn't look hungry. You know, he didn't look like he was in there fighting for legacy or boxing history. He was in there to get a paycheck, and you guys paid for it. Are we going to get the Benavidez fight? Canelo sounded like he, he feels great. And you know, I think this fight was probably a dud of a fight. I mean, I don't know what everybody else feels at home. I never felt like, like uh, Jamel Charlo committed to trying to win the fight. It's, it's unfortunate. It's sad. This is why boxing has the problems it has. Okay, so you guys get the idea. I mean, just look at round one. What was it? Something like 24 punches thrown total by both guys. I think one punch landed for Charlo. One punch landed for Canelo. Okay, that, I mean, look, that's not a feeling out process. That That's not, you know, these guys are computing, downloading the information. I don't know what that is. It's unheard of in boxing. Again, I'm going to call it the worst first round in, you know, championship boxing history. So there you go, guys. Now, look, I'm going to I'm going to throw out a few more things that were just absolutely wrong with this fight. But keep in mind, look, I'm not trying to hate on Canelo or nothing like that. I'm just simply speaking the facts. I'm telling the truth. And, and it's just that simple. People go up, they, they dare to be great, they try. Of course, when you get a big paycheck, the biggest paycheck possible in the business because you find the big, biggest money guy in the business, it's easier to try to be great. Okay, the next problem I had with the fight is where was the fire? Where was the hunger? Okay, Charlo literally quit in round seven, okay? Takes the right, goes down on, you know, takes the knee. Uh, reminded me of Victor Ortiz. I mean, what about having the heart of a lion? Because the Charlo brothers, you know, they preach about, you know, being a li lions only, okay? Look at their mirror, lions this, and lions that, alpha, alpha, alpha. You know, so where was the heart of a lion? Where was that championship mentality? that says you know when you get in trouble you, you don't you don't take a knee you don't quit you fight okay you go out on your shield i mean look at Hagler, hearns i mean even sugar ray leonard i mean all these old the old greats roberto duran okay where where what happened to fighters like that
okay, look, they fight scared, they fight safe, they play it safe from every aspect of the sport, all the way from the training camp to the first uh, first bell, round one, all the way to round 12, okay? Again, where was that fire in his belly? Where was that drive? Where was that warrior mentality? It wasn't there. Okay, and I get it. Not every fighter has that, but they have branded themselves on this lion-like uh, you know, alpha predator uh, mentality. And when he took a knee, I mean, honestly, I felt bad for the guy. I, I did. I said, okay, this guy doesn't want to be there. He has no business in the ring. And then look, I could probably say the same thing for Canelo. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't think he was looking for a knockout. I think he was just looking for, for, you know, round 12 to get another decision to move on to the next multi-million dollar fight. He cared that he lost. It, it never, he never seemed disappointed. He never seemed to try. Whenever he landed even a decent shot, he wouldn't even follow up. Usually you land a decent shot, you land a pretty good shot, you follow it up, you try to throw a, a follow-up combination, you try to throw a follow-up power shot. Anytime he even landed a decent shot, he used that chance to try to keep moving afterwards. He he never really committed to an, to an attack. Hey, look, Polly has an excellent point here. You know, I never saw him even commit to a, a combination, okay? You know, when he did something right, when he landed something decent, he didn't follow up, okay? He didn't let his hands go. He didn't, you know, go for the night. There's no, nothing, absolutely nothing. It was like, I, I don't know, maybe he was afraid to get hit and, uh, you know, lose in like an embarrassing knockout. But look, that's that's how that's how you truly dare to be great. Now, I'm not talking about being an irresponsible, reckless, you know, fighter or boxer, but you at least have to try. In the all access, um, we saw that uh, he, he was talking about the Caleb Plant fight and said, oh, Canelo coming in like that. He's not going to do that against me. So there you have it. That's everything wrong in my opinion opinion in the Canelo Charlo fight okay all the way from the, the the you know jumping around bouncing around to different divisions um you know to just everything we just went over okay uh and now and, and this was supposed to have been the like the pentacle of boxing right one of the the, the best fights of the year I mean 80 90 100 dollars for the damn pay-per-view okay and, and this is what we get so look I think you know I'm not going to say Canelo you know should be like ashamed of himself but I feel like he could have done more, too. I think most of the blame, we can place it on Charlo. And, you know, you have these boxing channels out there like Ego and Dante's Boxing Nation, you know, just, just hyping these, these guys up, talking all this crap for years and years how, you know, Canelo's ducking Charlo. Well, look what happened. Look what happened. I mean, this was worse than Mayweather Pacquiao. This was probably, I'm going to say, one of the worst fights I've seen in several years okay and that's not an overstatement it might be an understatement so leave a comment below what do you like about the fight what do you hate about the fight do you agree with me do you disagree with me uh am i being too hard on these guys let me know in the comments about you know look we are back and we are back with a vengeance